Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AWS Workshop Series. Now in this episode, we are going to cover CI/CD pipeline. So if you like my videos, take a moment to hit subscribe, click in there and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. Well, so far we have developed the front end and the back end of our Misfit web application, the application that we've been building throughout this series. And our back end is a containerized application that is hosted in ECS or Amazon Container Service. And we found that there are a lot of steps involved in deploying to ECS. First, you have to build the Docker image using the Docker file. Then you have to push it to ECR or Amazon Container Registry where our Docker images are stored in. Then we have to create a new task definition in ECS using the newly built image so that our front end application can use the latest features or the updates that we built. So a lot of steps. So if you are to do all these steps manually, and if this is an actual enterprise product where there will be new feature requests, updates, bug fixes, hot fixes, that will take a lot of development time in order to do the deployment part. So that's why we are going to create a CI CD pipeline or continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline to automate this release process. So what is covered in this episode? So first let's look at what is CI CD and the activities involved in each stage of the release process. Let's quickly talk about the benefits of CI CD and then we'll talk about CI CD in the context of our Misfit web application. And finally, we'll go into the implementation part. So what really is CI CD guys? Now, if you are familiar with DevOps, where the developers and operation guys working together in order to deliver software features fast, but yet with good quality, CI CD is one of the integral part. So it's all about accelerating the delivery part while maintaining the high quality of features or updates. And it's about automating this full release process. So what is the release process? It's about the source code, the centralized place that all developers will commit your code to and the build stage, testing stage and deploy into production stage. So we'll quickly go into these stages and the activities involved in there. So in the release process, we have these four stages and when it comes to CI CD, continuous integration and continuous delivery, the CI part is about automating the first three stages. That is when a developer is committed code to the centralized repository, it will trigger a build, it will build the code and it will run the tests like UI test, automation test, etc. But when it comes to the continuous delivery part, it's about automating all the way to deployment as well. As soon as a developer commit code to the main repository, it will go through build stage, test stage, and finally deploy to the production as well. So if you're only doing continuous integration, the automation will happen up to testing stage, and you're gonna have to manually deploy the built artifact to your production environment. On the other hand, the continuous delivery automate the deployment to the production as well. So what happens at the source code level? So when it comes to source code, it's about your centralized code repository. Say that your team has 10, 20 developers. They all may be developing in their local machines, but finally the code will be accumulated to a centralized code repository. It could be GitHub, that is the most famous one. Or in AWS, we have a service called AWS Code Commit that's another JIT repository managed by AWS. So every developer's code finally get merged into that centralized repository. So before merging the code, the probably you will have to do peer review in the code. For example, you may use a pull request based model. And once it is reviewed, it will be merged into the centralized repository. Next, we have the build stage. It's about compiling this code. As soon as code is committed to the centralized repository, the build stage will trigger. It will compile the code. If it is .NET Java, of course you have to do the compilation of the code. And it will run the unit tests, make sure no test is broken. And if it is a containerized application, at this stage you can create container images as well. Since you have the Docker file in the source code, you can use that Docker file and go through the instruction and create the Docker image as well. Or if it is serverless based application, well, you can 
package your serverless functions into a deployment package and get that ready for the deployment. So at this stage, you can use build servers like AWS Code Build or Jenkins. So next stage is testing stage. So this is about you know integration tests with other systems. But so far we have run the unit tests. But when it comes to integrating with the other systems, it's a must to run integration tests as well. So make sure you're not breaking those links with the other systems. Then you have to run the UI test, load testing and security testing as well. So at this stage, you can use the services like AWS Code Build or Jenkins or any other third party tools and services as well, like Blaze Meter, Ghost Inspector, etc. And next stage is deploy. It's all about deploying to production environments. And not only that, but also once you are deployed to the production, you have to make sure you do the continuous monitoring part as well. And if there are a bug or system outage or any interruption happened to your production application, you should quickly identify and take prompt action. So at this stage, you can use AWS Code Deploy service, or you can deploy to Elastic Beanstalk, ECS, which we'll be using during the implementation, or any other places that you would deploy your application to. All right, so what are the benefits of CI-CD? The first thing is it will increase the frequency of deployment. Now you don't have to wait for six months or month or weeks for a deployment to happen. In fact, you can trigger the deployment process on every commit of your developers. So it will be quite beneficial to your customers as well. So the features will be delivered quite fast to them. And they don't have to wait for six months to see a new feature coming up on the production. And that will benefit your business as well. And when you do frequent releases, it doesn't mean that your bug rate will also go up. Rather, it will go down if you have a proper CI CD pipeline. Even if you find a bug, it will be very easy to fix. Now think about this. Since the CI CD pipeline get triggered on every commit, the amount of code that is changed is small. If you compare the amount of code that is changed over six months to one commit, Obviously, this is very small. So if there's a bug, it's very easy to find that bug as well. In the other case, like if there's a code accumulated over six months and you know finding a bug, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, right? It's quite difficult. But in this case, it's very easy. And also, CI CD pipeline, it supports automatic rollbacks as well. You can configure this. Like if something goes wrong, always roll back to the previously stable version. Okay, now Let's look at our Misfit web application and see how CI CD operates here. We are using AWS Code 9 to develop our code online. And once it is developed, we push to our centralized code repository and we are using AWS Code Commit. So this is where our source code lives. Once the code is merged into the code repository, it should trigger a build. So that build part is handled by AWS code build. As soon as a code is merged into the code repository, it will automatically provision a build server. And then it will build the Docker image of our backend using the Docker file. And after that, it's going to push that image to Amazon ECR or Elastic Container Registry, where our Docker images are going to live. And last time, if you can remember, we built the Docker image and we pushed manually to ECR. But now we are going to automate that building part as well as pushing that built image to ECR. And once done that, AWS code build server will be terminated. So each time another com code commit is occurred, it will start up a new server and it will go through that process and finally push that image to ECR. Now these build steps like first build the image using the Docker file and then pushing that to ECR. So those stages are defined in a configuration file. So that configuration file is called buildspec.yml. So AWS code build will always look at that configuration file in order to determine what build stage to follow. Now let me quickly show you that file. Now I am in AWS Modern Application Workshop GitHub repository and in the module too. And there, if you go to your app where your code lives, 
and there you have the docker file where it lists down all the instruction to build our docker image and then we have another file called buildspec.yml now this is the file that aws code build will use to determine the build stages so if we look at this file first it has a version and then it has the build phases there are three main build phases pre-build build and post build so in the pre-build stage we are going to log in to ecr since our final purpose is to push our image to ecr first we need to log in so we will do the login part at the pre-build and during the build stage we are going to build the docker image using the docker file in the context and once it is built we are going to tag that image so at the end of this build stage we have a docker image that is tagged and during the post build we are going to push that tagged image to amazon ecr so that happens during the build stage in our application so what about the deploy stage now we need to deploy to ecs since our containers are running in aws ecs we must get the latest built image from Amazon ECR and then do a deployment to ECS. Now this is handled by AWS code pipeline guys. Now in fact, all these stages like pulling the changes from AWS code commit as soon as a developer merged the code into the AWS code commit repository and triggering a build and finally deploy to ECS all will be managed by AWS code pipeline service. Now this is like the glue between these three services. It orchestrates this whole CI CD pipeline. All right, so this is the overview of our CI CD architecture of our Misfit application. Now it's time to implement it. And guys, let's do it in the next video. Otherwise this video will be quite lengthy. All right, I'll see you soon.